Uh, and with that, uh, I want to say you finish up having breakfast. Um, uh, the, the, your parents are a little upset with you for having such crass accusations about things you saw with Mr. Corbett and his sensitive history and everything like that. But all you and all of your friends have decided you talked about it last night uh, at Thanksgiving that you wanted to go to a doorbuster deal somewhere. Where do you guys want to go for a doorbuster deal? Remember, it's the 90s. Camera store. Circuit City. <laughs> Ra- Radio Shack. Radio Shack. Radio Shack. Go Radio land. Shack for a, uh, <laughs> for a doorbuster at Radio Shack. EB Games. <laughs> you Bourbon. could do EB Games. Blockbuster Video. <laughs> for doorbusters. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what a doorbuster is. <laughs> I don't know what a doorbuster is. He doesn't even Dusty have a door. Around. Dusty doesn't have a door. He what is a door? door <laughs> His doorbusters are literally a busted door. <laughs> How else do you exit a room? <laughs> I think I heard Kmart mentioned earlier. A super Kmart? That's a good doorbuster. Which which one which one? Where do we go? I like Mervin's. Mervin's? What's Mervin's? <laughs> Wait, what? You don't know what's oh, Mervin's? Boy. What's yeah. a Mervin's? Oh, you weren't around here. That's right. It may not be Is that a California over. thing? Oh, maybe it, that's just a California thing. It's like was... JCPenney's, but it was owned by, like, it was a chain department store that closed in, like, the early 2000s. And it was, oh. like, JCPenney, and they were everywhere in California. Oh, it has to be a Michigan store is the thing. So we can't be a oh, Michigan store. Right. Uh, <laughs> it can't cheese, be this thing I've never heard of. <laughs> Jesus and beyond. Let's go there. <laughs> Jesus and beyond. We'll just say, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Circuit City seemed like one a lot of people wanted to go to. And that's a good, yeah. very good, solid 90s store. Actually, a Circuit City has appeared in, in Prosper COVID in one of our stories before. So this is kind of perfect. Um, so you all meet up for a doorbuster at Circuit City. And there's kind of a line already forming outside. Uh, Fenston, you get dropped off. Everyone's already there. Um, you famously always show up late because you don't need to stand in line with the with the drivel. <laughs> but yes, you all meet up. I'm going to take pictures of the uh, the line to continue my documentation. I'm also going to make sure to take pictures of Fitzy's car as it comes and goes, just in case. Just, <laughs> just make sure you get my good side. I'm in line to buy a Walkman. A Walkman, yes. <laughs> I'm clenching a, uh, a handful of nickels, hoping I can afford something, anything, <laughs> to be one of the gang. <laughs> your friends told you today's the day to bust out your savings. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess, like, I feel like the image of, like, the cool kid would be, like, you know, like a cassette player or a Walkman. And, like, I'll be looking for, like, some good combat boots. <laughs> At the circuit scene. <laughs> I don't know. You know. <laughs> Amazing. But yeah, Fitz, uh, you are, or Fenston more so, uh, you have uh, information. Fitzy, Fitzy, if you will. Fitzy. But yeah, you, you, you saw something weird last night, right? Yes, I did. I saw that it took forever for Dusty's <laughs> mother to give me my goddamn PB. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's mad. You didn't get it right now. Uh, <laughs> no, I... Getting this guy's name. Corbett. Corbett. I, I I saw something weird at Corbett's house. Uh, it was like 2 a.m. And I saw this strange figure in his upstairs hallway. It was very thin, very slender. Kind of like Dusty when he hasn't had anything to eat for 10 minutes. So dusty all the time. So <laughs> dusty all the time, yeah. He's very malnourished. <laughs> We're honestly concerned. <laughs> dusty reaches uh, into his pocket and oh, more jello. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> more jello. Wasn't jello. <laughs> no. I... <laughs> oh no, not jello. <laughs> but I swear that I I this 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 person this thing i swear its head just came off it was probably a mannequin or something but it was there and then it wasn't it probably fell over but at the same time this was happening the mr corbett had bags and i swear i saw 
a human arm on the ground outside. Our All right, now you're just imagining bag. things. Our bag's not used, not used to hold things in anymore. I mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not arguing whether or not bags can hold things. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't know the strength on this one, but it, it, I saw a human arm. Don't you find that weird, Jesse? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking about in sync. <laughs> Amazing. But it was in no? I, it was in sync. Like around the '92, I was just googling it, and then and they were a little bit later, later '90s. Um, we're nebulously we're in the '90s. Right? Yeah. No, it's okay. nebulously that. Well, there's no specific date in the '90s that we are. So just if it happened in the '90s, it happened. Oh, okay. That's how the PlayStation and the NES came out in the same year. <laughs> I don't want to do the homework and figure out when all this shit happened. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that it really happened, but I have the day off school, so like, if you guys want to go to the mansion neighborhood and take a look, I, I'd be up for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm free. <laughs> I'm Jesse's going, going. I'm going. I'm like, I guess I'll go. With that, well, as I you're... never really invited you, but sure. <laughs> I guess you guys could come over. Oh, Fine. <laughs> we'll stalk my neighbor. We'll make a whole day out of it. <laughs> no, but um, as you guys are talking about, I don't know, investigating your neighbor's house, uh, you notice that very same old Dodge that your parents gifted to Mr. Corbett for a favor that he did for them pulls into the uh, Circuit City parking lot. And you see Mr. Corbett himself get out of the uh, car. And he doesn't go to the Circuit City. Uh, he goes to like a little alley in between the Circuit City. You see him just kind of walk in, and you're still standing in line at the Doorbuster deal. You're getting really close to the entrance, though. I mean, I'm too busy getting ready to go into the Circuit City, since <laughs> this is not my mystery. <laughs> you're the investigator <laughs> But it's got to be a legit investigation. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I think he's crazy. <laughs> Mr. Corbett's a fucking saint. <laughs> His parents are the suspicious ones. <laughs> I mean, Dusty. where did all their money come from? I mean, come on. <laughs> IBM Dusty. Stocks, apparently. <laughs> Dusty, why don't you follow Mr. Corbett? He wouldn't be able to discern you from the trash in the alley. <laughs> Can easily sneak around. <laughs> Sounds good, boss. <laughs> to be honest, if I like... spent any of this, I'd be financially ruined. <laughs> <laughs> ruined, ruined. <laughs> Put it back in my pocket. And I can proceed to just sort of roll silently behind Mr. Corbett. <laughs> he had his own like sneaky theme song. He's like humming to himself. <laughs> you just gotta you get on the like floor prompt. and you turn into a cloud of dust like pig pen and then just <laughs> that dust just kind of like <laughs> Um would anybody start else... hubbing the, the the Mission Impossible theme? <laughs> uh would anybody else like to do some snooping with Dusty? <laughs> Who doesn't care as much about the Dark Buster to go around? <laughs> I am not going anywhere near. <laughs> <Dusty. Yeah. laughs> These are brand new chinos. <laughs> Dusty can go alone. That's fine if all of you are super set on the doorbuster deal. And at this point, you just think Fenston's kind of telling a stupid tale, and Dusty's maybe the only one stupid enough to get out of line at a doorbuster to go do this. Okay, with that, Dusty, uh, how do you go? So you saw Mr. Corbett walk into an alleyway, and then you don't really know what's in this alleyway. You, I want to say you get up to the corner of this alley, um, and you don't necessarily know what's around the corner. How would you like to proceed? Um, I'd like to creep as far up to the corner without being seen and push my ear to the ground. <laughs> you have the seismic vibrations. <laughs> You're pushing uh, your ear to the ground. You're not placing it gently. No, I'm You're pushing like, it. It okay. really hurts. Oh, it really hurts. <laughs> Let's say. I don't hear anything. 
<laughs> you know what? If you'd like, you can spend a couple points or a point. Just one point would probably do it in outdoors if you have that. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. So get, uh, take a point out of that. Based on your time living on the streets, you could tell that Mr. Corbett is exactly 17 feet away and that there are a few <laughs> trash bins in the way that you could easily hide behind if you were to go around the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, upon learning You can also I... tell that he's meeting someone and that that someone is inside of a van. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I scurry around the corner like a street rat that I am. All right. Silently, undetected. <laughs> Here's what I would like to do. I want to make you uh, roll a sneaking check because then we'll see how well you get away with this. I want to say the bar you have to hit is, we'll say three. Mr. Corbett doesn't know that anybody's onto him or anything like that. I'm going to bet one for my one. pool. And okay, hope cool. That this die works. So you need to hit a two or higher. Yeah, three. Nice. There you go. So you, you snake uh, behind some uh, trash and everything like that. And you manage to get close enough. And you're wearing like a wet cardboard box with like a Geely <laughs> suit. bananas on top of me. Yeah. <laughs> your everyday just apparel. Like, just papers on top <laughs> of me. You put up two empty bananas as binoculars, <laughs> even though they don't do anything. <laughs> and uh, you manage to get close enough to Mr. Corbett. Um, and what you see is Mr. Corbett is meeting somebody who's talking to him. This man is uh, parked in this back alleyway. He has a white van with feature featureless white van, no windows or anything on it. The back doors are open and he's negotiating with Mr. Corbett what seems to be a cooler, like a kind of just a one single handed cooler, not, not like a big cooler or anything like that. Mr. Corbett is like, oh, uh, come on, man, you know, I need this. You know, you know, we're doing this for the, you know what we're doing this for, right? And he just goes, I just need a little bit more cash, man. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's Black Friday. I got to treat my kids. <laughs> and he's like, fine, fine. It's worth it. Fine. What do you want? And then they negotiate a barter and everything like that. Uh, the dealer seems to be satisfied. Um, and, uh, Mr. Corbett takes this, uh, unlabeled cooler from this suspicious man. Um, the suspicious man just kind of you know, uh, nods his head, gets into his van, starts the van up, doesn't quite leave just yet, and Mr. Corbett starts to leave the alleyway, back the direction he came. Uh, because you were so good at uh, sneaking around, he doesn't see you at all, walks right past you. Um, is there anything you'd like to do before he exits the alley, or just was that enough? He has a cooler, he said? Yeah, he has a, 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 a hand on a cooler. And what's interesting is he seems to have handcuffed himself to it. Okay, that grows that, that <laughs> idea. <laughs> you were going to try to take... I'm pretty sure he'd notice he wasn't carrying the thing he bartered for. No <laughs> one suspects the trash. <laughs> You're going to open it, dip in, eat what was ever inside, put it back, go back up. <laughs> However, the fact that he has handcuffed himself to it is a notable feature when you try to consider taking it from him is more suspicious to be super fair like definitely something weird's going on with that um and with that uh everybody everybody that's in line at the circuit city you're next to get into the store uh you see mr corbett walk out with a package he didn't have before and you don't see dusty <laughs> is it wait is that dusty right there is oh no no that's a trash bag oh no <laughs> is it a Playmate cooler or is it like a Coleman cooler? Like what kind of cooler is it? I want to say the first one you said, because I do know those brands. Playmate, um, yeah. That was yeah. like one of the big ones in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's got like a red bottom, cooler? red bottom, white top, single plastic handle kind of thing, handcuffed. <laughs> you know, the typical handcuffs that those could seem to come with, just in case you really don't want people getting your beers. <laughs> I'd like to uh, take a couple of pictures of the cooler because that does Ooh. seem a little weird that he'd walk into a, a uh, an alleyway behind a store to get a cooler. Yeah, what's that all about? So what kind of camera do you have, by the way? Um, I have a hand-me-down camera from my parents. Oh. Uh, it's a, uh, an, an old Canon. Has it, has it uh, covered wars, you know? <laughs> no, no, it hasn't covered wars, but it did cover the great political debates of its era. Ooh, so it, so your parents are pretty like. The, you, are you following in your parents' footsteps then? Yeah, my father's footsteps. My oh, mother's awesome. a stay-at-home mother. Nice. Um, 
so cool so you have oh man that's kind of cool that you have like a relic camera <laughs> um but yeah with that after some time uh as long if nobody does anything for mr corbett um well i'm concerned all of a sudden i didn't believe fitzy at first but now that dusty's missing i'm just gonna like shout like hey dusty it's like if he hears me down the alley <laughs> Dude, well you probably hear that dusty uh and yeah, mr yeah. corbett gets to his car and starts to get in uh, uh, and then it's funny, a, a few things serendipitously happen at the same time. Dusty hears his name. Uh, do you come running out of the alleyway then, or? Oh, friends? You start to go, yeah. and then, uh, right as Oh, you're... that's a good Dusty, that's a good Dusty! I put a Kit Kat wafer on his nose. <laughs> <laughs> you're he running towards said... your friends. At the exact same time you're running towards your friends, uh, the Circuit City employee says, Okay, kids, you get, get on in here. Uh, and so it's like the kids are now starting to go into the Circuit City. Will Dusty make it in time? <laughs> it's all slow motion. Uh, Dusty, I want you to roll a, uh, just for funsies because this is stupid and fun. An <laughs> athletics check of three. <laughs> all right. Do you want to bet anything? Nope. <laughs> no. I'm going in. I'm going oh, in. Oh, dang it. Two. <laughs> <laughs> the kids go into the circuit city and the guy stops he's like whoa you gotta get to the back oh, of the line oh, there. <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> now you'll never uh, get that nothing you were gonna get with the five nickels <laughs> <laughs> Dusty, I'm not true. okay for a second I thought he might have murdered you but uh we'll be right back out <laughs> Nobody... to show, somebody give me a stick of gum I, I hurl two nickels in. <laughs> tic Tac's the same, right? A single Tic Tac? That's about the same. It's about the same. <laughs> Alrighty, and with that, uh, I want to say, you know, you guys have your shopping spree. Does anybody get anything? Uh, I guess, like, I could, like, mosey on over to, like, the, the music section, like, the punk music section. The punk music section. You get yourself some CDs or tapes. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, I guess, like you know, like around this time, like it was like cassettes were still like okay to use. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah I got a Walkman and some uh, a couple of pop cassette tapes. Pop music. Nice. nice. <laughs> Anybody else? I, uh, I decide to start a, a business venture there, and <laughs> I set up a bunch of these old AOL uh, sample CDs to use them in the mail and charge them each for a dollar. You make a killing. <laughs> I make a killing. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And then lady. People love know. AOL. <laughs> it's the it's a free sample disc. <laughs> Does Lee get anything? Or no? Yeah, no, I just pick up some two for one film. Nice. <laughs> uh, and with that, uh, and Dusty, I guess Dusty gets one stick of gum. But it wasn't anything anyone like nobody bought you a whole pack it's like somebody bought a pack for themselves and then just handed you a piece of gum and you assume that that's just how much your nickels would get you <laughs> it's exactly what i want it's exactly it's everything it could have asked for <laughs> it's not even a flavor you like <laughs> it's cinnamon you know every child's favorite flavor it's one of the it's one of the it's zebra fennel stripe for ones. some reason <laughs> it's black licorice oh god <laughs> Uh, with that, uh, now the floor kind of opens to you guys how you'd like to do whatever you'd like to do. Um, you get back from uh, your, your shopping spree. Uh, I don't know if you go to multiple places or anything like that, but um, uh, yeah, you, you kind of seem to be starting a plan. You can talk more about that or whatever you want to do. But yeah, you're out of the Circuit City now and just kind of meeting up wherever you want to meet up. Um, I am now suspicious of Mr. Corbett because the cooler handcuffed to him seems really weird um maybe we just go to his house and see if he's there it's the weekend right oh it's black friday so he's probably off work since everyone else wasn't in the alley this i share what i saw about this other man in the van exchanging money for something in some sort of a, a cooler but i couldn't if, get close enough to find out what it was if you want I'd say uh, you can spend a point in notice, if you have a point in notice, uh, Dusty, uh, to remember the license plate of the the van, if you want to. If you don't have a point in notice, then you can't do it. <laughs> yeah, I have a point, I'll use it. Okay, you're gonna, oh, so, so that is another avenue, is that uh, you know Kennedy is pretty good at investigating and stuff, 
Um, so you do have the license plate of this van. You remember the make and model uh, in the license plate, and you know that it's an unmarked white van. So you might be able to look up that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, you, there's there's two options for you guys right there. All right. Well, that's really weird. I guess we can kind of look into that. Um, we can also go get my film developed since I took pictures of the cooler. We can see if there's anything we can find out from that. Sounds like we're going to K Lee's house. We're going to Lee's house to, to do your films and uh, look up stuff on your internet computer. Internet computer. Better tell yeah, your mom to start it up now. <laughs> start, it up, start up the internet because we'll yeah, be there in about 30 while. minutes. Here, I'll give you this AOL. I'll give you this AOL CD for free. Hey, we, just have, just for for that. we just have to hope she's not on the phone. Otherwise, we'll have to wait for her to finish talking to the neighbor. And hey. Dusty, if you do good, I'll let you pet your Tom, uh, your pet, your virtual pet on your Tamagotchi today. Oh. <laughs> but he died. <laughs> like all your pets, right? Like, oh, oh no! Pets. You try giving him your After food they make it pissy. Amazing. Uh, yeah, so I want to meet. I want to say you guys all meet up at Lee's house because it sounds like a good uh, avenue to do things. Um, Lee, what does your house look like? Oh, just a standard house from the suburbs. Single story, two car garage. Not new, but not super old. To my my mother. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, your house. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um, and yeah, so uh, does everybody go up to your room to just kind of hang out and shoot the shit over figuring out how you're going to investigate this thing? No, there's no reason to go to my room. There's no computer in there. We need to go to the family room computer. That's right. Why would they give you your own computer? It's the fucking 90s. <laughs> I'm not fancy. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in the den. Uh, which so, is so we're in the den. Uh, my mother just got off the phone, so we can go ahead and turn on the computer and wait for the dial-up to connect. Lee, why are there so many empty Zima bottles around? <laughs> we don't ask those questions. <laughs> Some mysteries are best left unsolved. <laughs> I get out no. my Lisa Frank binder to take notes because they don't have a printer, so you got to copy everything from the internet. <laughs> that you of your trapper keeper. A few pages. <laughs> A few pages of like what the, what are the Backstreet Boys currently up to? <laughs> Backstreet's back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so uh, we can kind of open the floor for an investigation. Uh, anybody who has any questions or anything they want to look into, you can also spend points if you'd like uh, in anything that you think would apply. Um, but, uh, and if, if there's a way to get that information, uh, Lee would probably look it up or something like that. Um, so, uh, how would you like to proceed? You can also look up stuff about Mr. Corbett. It doesn't have to be all about the stuff about the van or whatever. So. Yeah. I mean, I think, um, we can start with the van cause that's the most suspicious aspect of it. All right. So I want to say that would probably require a, a computer check. Uh, I want to say pretty high computer check too, like a skill check of five, um, if you'd like to look that up, because you're literally looking up per somebody's personal information about a vehicle that they have. Um, so yeah, but again, you could bet points towards it. I'm pretty sure your character's really good at computers anyway. Um, I actually didn't take that many points this time around. Oops. Uh, well, you could do it anyway. Well, I mean, anybody who's good at computers can take take the. I have dollars. computer points. Of course you do. Why don't why don't I leave Jess to take care of that since she's so great at computers? Yeah, you figured sarcastic. out the, the the home addresses of every member of uh, ninety eight <laughs> degrees, so like, <laughs> you definitely, <laughs> you've definitely done stuff like this before. It's each of their names followed by sixty nine. That's what <laughs> that turns out to be all of their email addresses. Uh, with at that, yes, com. Uh, skill check of six. So again, you can uh, uh, bet points towards this if you'd like. Um, I'll do three points, and so I'll roll for a thing. Okay. Uh, roll a one. Oh, dang. So uh, here's what you get, because uh, you spent a little bit of points. I guess I could give you something. Um, you don't necessarily get his address or, like, a phone number or anything like that. Um, you do get, like, a name uh, based on that. Uh, the name is uh, Carl... 
Carl Carlson. Sagan. <laughs> Carl and I Sagan. definitely didn't make it up right now. <laughs> but his name is Carl Carlson. Um, and that's the name you get. But you don't get an address, you don't get a, a phone number or anything like that. Um I bet that Lee's family has a white pages, and I'd like to see if he's listed in the white pages. That's super great. Uh, you don't even need to spend a point. That's just ingenious. Um, <laughs> yes, Carlson Carl does pop up in the phone book. With does, a phone do white pages? I forget. Yeah. So wait, do white pages list wait, addresses? Is, it, is Carlson Carl my dad, or is it Carl Carlson? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of Carls going on. <laughs> no, your name's Carl. Your dad's name is Carlisle, isn't it? Or Carlisle yeah. Carlson? Or Carlisle. Something? Okay, now. Yeah, or Fitzwilliam. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, it's just Mr. Fitzwilliam to me. <laughs> if it was your dad, I'd have to change the name because I totally. Just... Um, uh, yeah, if White Pages list addresses and stuff, I want to say that his address is listed. Um, yeah, they they do unless they um, opted out, but they normally did. Oh, uh, he opted out then, okay. but his phone number is in there. Uh, okay. Uh, which is was stupid of him, but he he maybe that's how he tells people how to contact him or something like that is via the white pages. But yes, uh, no address, but his phone number is listed. So now you do have his name and his phone number. Okay, that's good to know. I'd like to I'd like for some of us one of us to call him, but whoever sounds the most grown up, and we should come up with questions or something first. Well, I can sound the most grown up. <laughs> and British. This is <laughs> that's what grown ups sound like, right? <laughs> I just whatever I try to sound grown up, I just think of Mrs. Doubtfire. How did she sound? <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, but what questions would you like me to ask? Have you ever seen a human arm not attached to a body? I feel like body? that is something like a twelve-year-old might ask an adult. <laughs> Which that's why I'm not off a lot of red flags to that adult. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe do you we have can, both your arms. <laughs> maybe we can ask him like what his job is. Like, I don't know. He runs a morgue or something. Maybe we can like pretend that we're doing a school report on like one of our heroes and we decided to name Mr. Corbett as our hero. How did we get his phone number? If so you found a random person he interacted with? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're 12. Yeah, sure. That sounds great. <laughs> why don't we, uh, why don't we uh, pretend like we're calling from Arbitron to find out what his current viewing stat statistics are for TV? Hmm? Hmm? Nielsen ratings? No. And then, what would we do with those ratings? Just uh, like, what kind of shows are you drawn to? Uh, more of the murder How kind? To murder. <laughs> <laughs> How to get away with murder? We He's could, a true crime fan. <laughs> we could maybe ask him if he would like to buy our Tupperware. <laughs> do you need any more knives? Because you're all out killing! <laughs> all out from killing people. I actually imagine a bunch of 12 year olds in somebody's family den talking about this and the parents like washing dishes in the room literally right next door to be like, they must be playing some sort of game. <laughs> I loved Clue <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> Go for it, Fenston. You sound the most grown up. Or so we think. <laughs> Would you like to call a mysterious man with a white van? <laughs> Every single day of my life. <laughs> Does grown-up face work over the phone? <laughs> grown-up? Yeah. No, I don't okay. say. Yeah. Okay. No, that would work. I forgot that's a fucking skill. <laughs> that's great. Um, all right. So do you call? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm calling Carl. Carl Carl Carlson. Carlson. Carl Carlson. So the phone starts ringing. And then you're, you're. Hello! It sounds like a voice modulator on the other <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry. Um, hello. Is this Mr. Carl Carlson? You got him. Hi. This is the uh, part where children feel like they've definitely got in over their heads. <laughs> children, I feel like we're in over our heads right now. <laughs> Hi. I am calling from Mervyn's, and 
I just Mervins? had a few... <laughs> yeah, Mervyn's, the clothing store. You've heard of us, correct? You're not from, like, the Midwest? I live in Michigan, man. <laughs> oh, uh, well, we're thinking about opening a Mervyn's near you. And we were hoping to find out what it is that you like most. So tell me, what what is it you like the most? Uh, what is it about yourself that you, that would... That we as Mervyn's employees... Hold, hold on one second, and then you hear him kind of, like, move away from... He's like, we're going to Chuck E. Cheese later! Guys, Calm I down. Think this is working! Calm down! Okay. All right, sorry. Uh, sorry, I don't... I don't want to go to... I don't... <laughs> I don't... I don't like... I don't like clothes. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, uh, if you want, um, let's see... Well, we know he's a nudist, so we got that. <laughs> he must be a nudist. Um, where are you? Let's see. What could you roll to get him to not hang up the phone immediately? Uh, maybe give me an intuition check of five. That seems about right. Or filch. Give me a uh, filch check of five. Can I use a couple points for filch? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use two. Two? So then it's a uh, three. You have to get three or higher. <laughs> Damn. Uh, he hangs up. <laughs> but you did get something out of that. He said he will be at a Chuck E. Cheese later. Yes. Everyone. I did great. Let me just tell you. <laughs> I am the best. <laughs> There's nobody but... No. Uh... Also, make super sure sus. They... He had a voice modulator on when he was answering the phone. <laughs> but he, I heard make him... Sure to look completely shocked and bewildered when he hangs up the phone and just be like what's wrong with you <laughs> <laughs> I heard this weird voiced person say that kids were going to Chuck E. Cheese what is Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> it's the place with the dancing and singing rat everyone knows that Dusty's room? Duck, I think. <laughs> My favorite place. <laughs> oh man, I have a Chuck E. Cheese in my room. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> but yes, that is an avenue that you could decide to uh, to dis uh, investigate further if you'd like to later. Um, that's probably all you're going to get on the van. Is there anything else you'd like to look up? Or are you going to be children where when you have one lead, you immediately beeline towards it? <laughs> we could always go. I mean, again, I didn't invite you technically, but we could always go to Mr. Corbett's house and, you know, do a little look-see. I would like to look up um, the local news for when Mr. Corbett's family died, just to read the news article for that. That would probably means we have to go to the library to do that since this is the 90s. So, that, yeah. Uh, right. You could probably find a, a really quick, like, news. Like, it's not much, though. All it really says is that uh, there was a car accident and two people died, leaving a husband widowed. Um, not, <laughs> not much detail other than that. Uh, but yes, it is. I guess you did confirm that, yes, his family is dead. <laughs> so... I guess he really did have a daughter. <laughs> you just don't remember because you were young, she was young, and you didn't like girls. Ooh, ooh, cooties. Uh, they didn't so speak at a high enough away. grade level. Yeah, that too. They just didn't speak at a high enough grade level. <laughs> That's all it was really on. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, but uh, as far as... Uh, you, you could look at more stuff probably about Mr. Corbin, but as far as that angle goes, that's all you really get out of it. I feel like that's probably pretty good for now. I do think following the Chuck E. Cheese lead is our best bet. Plus, yeah. we get to hang out in Chuck E. Cheese for a while. <laughs> yeah. A place, only notably, only pizza. children can go. <laughs> Am I wearing the right attire? Should I change out of my chinos? Uh, no, you should keep them on. <laughs> nice. Dusty, you have to dress up. Aww. I'll find a shirt without holes in it. <laughs> impossible <laughs> that's what I say as I'm going to make glasses impossible maybe the Chucky in your room will know all about it <laughs> do you want to talk to the rat in your room <laughs> <laughs> 
you're like Cinderella, you're able to talk to the rats. They, they patch your holes for you. <laughs> <They're so laughs> and you try in your head, that's what's happening, but in real life, you, a, a rat just bites you and then rips your yeah. shirt a little bit more and runs off. You're like, ah, I hate this. <laughs> it's magical. It's magical. <laughs> if only I had a door and it wasn't busted. Ah. <laughs>